The only thing you really hear is yourself breathing. Otherwise, there's no sound. And it's just a very tranquil time to basically decompress your body uh, away from all the external things going on in the world and it's just quite relaxing. It's really funny because when we come out here and we're setting up for a dive, especially in the summer when there's a lot of guests and swimmers, they're always asking a ton of questions. How far does it go? How deep is it? How deep is it right here? And so forth. So most people never know the extent of the swimming hole that they're swimming in. It's a difficult cave to dive. Without the proper training, it, it could be deadly. Members of our team, back around the year 2000, attempted to investigate the well. They were told by some local residents that it was more or less a waste of time because the well only went down 100 feet. To date, our team has mapped over 7,000 feet of cave. There's areas in here that you literally have to take a tank off to squeeze through. Then again, there's areas big enough to drive car or truck through if you could get back there. There's not as much things that you would see there as opposed to open water because there's no daylight. Main thing you're seeing is the different striation levels in the rocks, different things from different periods of time that are embedded in the rocks. And just the sheer beauty of seeing an undisturbed area. At this point in time, we hold the only research permit for Jacob's Well, and diving by the general public is strictly prohibited. You can't understand something until you research it and define it. Our cave map has been used in at least two different litigations to limit development over the aquifer. So we think there's potentially more cave here, but it's yet to be discovered. Over the years, it's got to where Jacob's Well has no flow or very, very little flow, which is sad because if it continues down the path that we're going, one day Jacob's Well will probably dry up. And a lot of that is just due to the fact that the area has grown up so much and people are using so much water out of the ground, one day this resource might not be here. It needs to be preserved. You can't have nature with development right on top of it, especially when something's as fragile as that aquifer and that cave system. People need to appreciate it and protect it. Thank you.